Now, more examples on the resultant of two forces meeting at a point analytically. First example, two forces of magnitudes 2F and 3F newtons. The angle between them measures alpha. Find the value of alpha if the magnitude of the resultant is square root 13F. This is the general case. We, we are given two forces and we are given the resultants all in terms of F. The angle between the two forces is alpha. We want to find alpha. This is the general case. We have two forces that meet at a point and by the rule, the resultant is represented by diagonal of the parallelogram. Remember the rule, so the resultant equal square root of F1 squared plus F2 squared plus 2. F1, F2, cosine alpha, the angle between the two forces. So the resultant, the given resultant is square root of 13 F. So square root of 13 F squared, this is the resultant, this is equal to F1 squared, or F1 is 2 F, so 2 F squared plus F2 squared, F2 is 3F, so plus 3F squared, and plus 2 times the first times the second, so plus 2 times F1, which is 2F, times F2, which is 3F, times cosine alpha, simplify, 13F squared equals 4F squared plus 3f all squared to be 9f squared plus 2 times 2 to be 4 times 3 to be 12f squared cosine alpha. Simplify 4f squared and 9f squared to be 13f squared. So 13f squared equals 13f squared plus 12f squared cosine alpha. 13f squared and 13f squared cancel each other. So 12f squared cosine alpha equals 0, divide both sides by 12 f squared, so cosine alpha equals 0, therefore alpha is a right angle, alpha is 90, so alpha equals 90. If the resultant is perpendicular to one of the two forces, so the angle theta equals 90 degree, tan theta equals 1090, this is undefined. So, tan theta equals F2 sine alpha over, over F1 plus F2 cosine alpha. If this amount is undefined, so the denominator equals 0. So, F1 plus F2 cosine alpha equals 0. Or in simpler words, if the resultant is perpendicular to one of the two forces and theta is 90 degree, so cotan theta is 0. Cotan theta is the multiplicative inverse of the tan. So switch the numerator and denominator of this expression. So cotan theta equals F1 plus F2 cosine alpha over F2 sine alpha. This is equal to zero. So the numerator equals zero and F1 plus F2 cosine alpha equals zero. Now example, two forces act at a point. The value of one is three newtons more than the other. If the magnitude of the resultant is 3 square root 3 newtons and the resultant is perpendicular to the smaller force, find the magnitude of each force and the measure of the angle between them. We have two unknown forces, so assume the two forces to be F and the second force is 3 newtons more than the first. If the first force is F, so the second force will be F plus 3. The resultant is given. The resultant is perpendicular to the smaller force. So, of course, the smaller force is F. This is the smaller force. So, F is F1. And F plus 3 is the bigger one to be F2. The resultant is perpendicular to the smaller force. If the two forces are F and F plus 3, so, of course, the smaller force is F. So, F is... So, F1 equals to F and F2 is F plus 3. If the resultant is perpendicular to one of the two forces, so simply F1 plus F2 cosine alpha equals zero. So let's use this equation. So F1 is F plus F2 cosine alpha. So F1, which is F, plus F2 cosine alpha, which is F plus three. So plus F plus three cosine alpha. So cosine 
alpha, which is unknown. This is this equals zero. Simplify. Cosine alpha equals move the f to the other side. Negative f and divide by f plus three. So negative f over f plus three. This is cosine alpha. The resultant is given three square root three. So r is three square root three. If the resultant is perpendicular to one of the two forces, so we are supposed to use this simplified relation from the Pythagorean theorem. But in this case, we need to find alpha and we are given the resultant. So we need to connect the resultant to the unknown alpha. So let's use the rule of the general case. R squared equals F1 squared plus F2 squared plus 2 F1 times F2 plus 2 F1 times F2 cosine alpha. So R squared equals F1 squared F1 is F, is assumed to be F, so F squared plus F2 squared, F2 is assumed to be F plus 3, so plus F plus 3 squared, plus 2 F1 times F2, so 2 times F times F plus 3 times cosine alpha, cosine alpha is negative F over F plus 3, cosine alpha from the previous relation is negative F as negative f over f plus 3, so times negative f over f plus 3, over f plus 3. Now simplify this with this. So finally, r square, r is 3 square root 3, so r square is 9 times 3 to be 27 equals f squared. Now expand this perfect square to be f squared plus 9 plus 3 times 2 times f, so plus 6f. Then simplify this to be negative f times 2f to be negative 2f squared. So finally, simplify f squared plus f, f squared plus f squared is 2f squared minus 2f squared to be 0. So we have 6f plus 9 equals 27. Move the 9 to the other side, so 6f equals so 6f equals 27 minus 9 to be 18, and f is 3 newton. Now, if f is 3 newton, we can find, we can simply find cosine alpha. Cosine alpha is negative f, so negative 3 over 3 plus 3 to be 6. So cosine alpha is negative 1 over 2, so alpha is Therefore, if cosine alpha is negative 1 over 2, so alpha is 120 degree. So the two forces are f is 3, so f1 is f. f1 is equal to f. f1 equals f, so this is equal to 3. And f2 equals f plus 3, so this is equal to 3 and 3 to be 6. So f1 is 3 newtons and F2 is 6 newtons, and finally, alpha, and alpha is 120 degrees.